Next up, Ari, what's good, bro? Ari wants to talk Mitch, Knox, and Fizz. Ari, what's going on, man? Hey, what's up, CP? What's up, JLS? How you guys doing? Chill, how you feeling, uh, bro? What I wanted to, what I wanted to talk, touch base on is what I touched base on yesterday when CP wasn't there. When JLS was there when I was like, I, I, was, I was a little heated last night after we lost the Cavs mm -hmm. about Fizzdale and how he, um, you know, it, it, to me, it just seems like he coddles these guys too much. And, um, you know, I got a lot of flack in the in the chat because, you know, everyone's like, does this caller know we're tanking? Does like, oh, we're tanking, we're trying to lose. I'm like, I'm like, okay, yeah, I know we're tanking. I know we're trying to lose. But it's not the coach's job to tank. It's the, it's the front office who tanks. You cannot have right. the coach tank. The front office is the one that tanks, and the coach is supposed to – do with player development. And this is where I d disagree with you guys a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, Mitchell Robinson, if you notice, his development has happened in the last four games when what happened? DeAndre Jordan came to town. I think he developed more under DeAndre Jordan in the past five <laughs> games than he has with Fisdale the entire year. I mean, well, I, I'm going to go ahead, Jales. Go ahead, I'm Jales. I'm going to on that and tell you that's not true. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, maybe it's just that's a coincidence, man. It's just a coincidence. That's, that's definitely not true. For one, I, all, right, I, I, all right, all right. So let's say let's say Fisdale was the one that was the one that you know developed Mitch. Mm -hmm. I saw Zoe has regressed since the beginning of the year. Okay. Nah, Frank that's, that's not fair. He's, he's a rookie, he's Ari, man. He's a no. rookie, man. This is, this, oh, yo, this is what happens right, to rookies. I know they're rookies, but I'm saying if this – I don't think any I, – I, I, all right, Frank has regressed. He's not a rookie. I mean, Dodson's not a rookie. He has not been playing as well as the beginning of the season. You know, I'm like you're looking at these players, right? And you're talking about player development, right? Yeah. And, like, we knew since day one that Kevin Knox needs to tighten his hand a little bit. Yes. His hands has not gotten any better at all throughout the entire season. And I understand it's hard to really work on your game during the season, the mm -hmm. grind of the season. Mm -hmm. We'll really know if these guys develop after they have a summer to work on it. But I just don't think by coddling these kids and saying and not holding them accountable and going into a press conference every day and being like, yo, we've got to take our lumps instead of, like, you know, really really putting the, the fire. Like, I don't think they're – I don't think his I don't think his coaching style is developing these players. I think it's actually kind of crippling them. You know, I, by I, like not I, really ahead, like I, I disagree, <laughs> man. I, I disagree. I can I can name numerous things that every player on the team has gotten right, better right. at. Read yeah. read him read him his rights, JLs. <laughs> Run the receipts, like, bro. Okay, like first of all, when Mitch first got here, Mitch couldn't set a screen to save his life. Mitch was setting screens with his ankles. Two points for Jay Ellis. <laughs> Do you Two remember points that? For Jay Ellis. Do you remember that second of all? Miss it and stop no, fouling until like I understand, three. but I'm saying a lot of this Mitch stuff has happened since DeAndre Jordan has gotten me. No, I, that's I, all. I, 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 Mitch, Mitch is the one exception. Before Mitch, he's the one Mitch, exception. I'm talking about everybody before else. Before DeAndre Gordon got here, Mitch's foul trouble was going down, and then he got injured, first of all. Then he came back, and he had to really acclimate, acclimate himself to the game. And also on top of that, I just read an article from um, Mark Berman that was, that was describing um, – the trainer was talking about Kerry Kittles uh, yeah. was the one who helped him stop stop him from reaching Kerry Kittles, yep. Absolutely, mm -hmm. Kerry Kittles, yep. Now, I, I, I feel like what DeAndre helped him with probably might have been his rebound. Because I feel like his rebounding has gone up since um, DeAndre has gotten here. But he's been improving in a lot of facts of the game before DeAndre got here. Now, it's minuscule, you might not notice it, but I've been noticing all that stuff happening before DeAndre got here. So to say that the coaching staff hasn't been working with these guys is, is a flat out, I don't, is just not true. And even oh, Trey, I'm not saying they haven't been working with them. I'm just saying it hasn't been, it hasn't, I haven't seen any, uh, see it be effective. Who else, who else besides Moutier, who's not going to be back rookie. here next year? Devon Mitchell Robinson, who could you could say, has progressed from the season. Von Lee, listen, man, Moody. Eh? Listen, I, I, like, we're, we're, yeah, this is Moody is not going to be back here this, this, this year. He's this, one this guy. Is, I admit that. Von Lee has been has been not playing well at all recently. Yeah, so, he's 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 come back you know, to life. He's come back to life. Like, Von Lee has regressed. I think Von Lee even know he can dribble. Still still winning, like, we're not going to instill a winning culture because honestly, the reason why we're losing all these games is that we don't have anybody who can shoot on our team. Like, we are such a flawed team that we have no shooters. But what I'm saying is. When you keep on going to the press conferences and you keep on, you know, keeping being calm and not saying like we really have to get better at something like this, I think it it, it establish it makes it seem like losing's okay, and that's not a okay. culture you want to you want to you want to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Like 
You're going to lose All regardless. Right. At least make it seem like you're going to really, 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 really try to do it instead of being like we're young. You I know? got you. And, and pr- appreciate the call, bro. I mean, I I can go on like thirty points. Yeah, I mean, I can know I can go down the line. I just I just finished praising Trier for um his passing because he was yeah. not passing in the beginning of the, beginning of the season. I feel yeah. like over the last week he's been setting up his teammates a lot more than he has the entire Facts. the entire three months before this. Facts. And even even if Frank, who's been um starters fast and regrets, I feel like before he got injured, he was going to the hole a lot. More. I mean, like, Frank hasn't regressed to me. He's been erratic last year. He's been erratic this year. I mean, I'm talking about over. I'm talking about over the last few weeks frank i mean before he got injured of course yeah. he's been driving more than i've seen him over the last year right like there's a lot and, and and these guys are young so what happens when you when guys are young mm-hmm. is they start and stop and start and stop and yeah start it's stop. it's it comes it's with the territory of being rookies man and young players consistent. and then one day what happens is they're more consistent and then they plateau and they get the habits and they do that every game instead of every two games or every other game. Yeah. Like that's the, the fact of the matter is we don't have a veteran here who had who's have all this habits down together and, and it's just a routine right now. We have Thanks. all young guys. The yeah. only veteran like you notice the most consistent case person here is DeAndre Jordan. Do you know why? Because <laughs> DeAndre Jordan's a veteran. Yeah, it's true. I mean, listen, you know, I, I tell you guys all the time, I think some of the criticism of Fizz is warranted. You want to talk about the lack of offensive philosophy, um, yes. the defensive adjustments sometimes in games, the out-of-bounds, you know, the, t- yes. the, the plays out of timeouts, things like that need work. At the same time, you know, you see a guy like Moutier who's had a good stretch this season. Von Lee had a good stretch this season. Knox had a good stretch this season. Iso started the year off hot. Now Mitch is coming on strong. Mario's had his moments. You know, that's six guys right there, JL. Kadeem yeah. Allen is in, is in here playing. I mean, you got to give the coaching staff some credit. Yeah. You got to give I mean, them a little I, bit. You got to give them a little credit. I, it remains to be seen whether they they can be an X and O. Like, the, I don't know. Like, it seems like they know something about X and O's because every time out of the timeouts, they seem to execute stuff pretty well. Yeah. Uh, evidence of that Cavs game when he missed the wide – when John Dickens missed that wide open three. But, like, during the game – and maybe they're maybe they're letting them go freestyle too much, or that they, maybe they need more set plays mm-hmm. during the game. That's a fair criticism to me. But to say that you know that they don't know what to do and they're, 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 these guys aren't being coached, I don't. Yeah, do no, I think they are. But like, I don't think you know. Ari says we shouldn't be normalized and losing. They're just not good. You know what I'm saying? Fizz, Fizz can yeah. go in every press conference and throw this guy under the bus and yell and scream. Yo, yo, Fizz. <laughs> I'm surprised he's even still standing right now, man. Yeah. Every press conference, he, yeah, he, he looks like he, he's lost more and more energy, man. Fizz is, Fizz is shot right now. You, you know Word. what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Fizz like, is shot. But, like, I, you know, at the same time, you, these are young players. You can't – you have to – there is a balance, right? That's what the coaches say. There is a balance with how you kind of, you know, handle your relationship with the young players and stuff like that. Yeah, and that's why he's there because he has relationships with the young players. Yeah. He knows how to talk to. Him. But um, we'll we'll see. We'll, we'll see, see man. going forward. We'll see going we'll see. forward. It's all the work. Yeah. Right. it's all love though, Ari man. It's always a good call. Yeah, still, man. it's always, always a good, a good call. call. You know what I mean? Shout out everybody in the chat. Give a thumbs up to your boys once again. Mitch is gonna be the thorn in Joel Embiid's sides like the next three years to come. Years to come, baby. I yes. love it, man. I love it. Let's go, baby. Mitch, please. I told you about that boy, man. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, you look at it, 